Hello everybody and welcome to a new Roblox video. Um, in this video I will be going through the basics of Roblox Studio. So that is what I have opened at the moment. So uh, at first you want to know how to open this. So um, you should go to uh, all your programs and stuff and find um, Roblox and then Roblox Studio. So if you can play, if you play Roblox and you can play in places that means you will have Roblox Studio so yeah find it, just find it on your computer and open it you should end up uh, on the game page uh, and then you can file open and open your place or go to my Roblox profile and then edit okay then so once you open your place um, you have uh, some uh, tools right here and I don't think I will be going through all of them but just the basics and um, well these these are really basic like new open save cut copy paste undo so yeah I would those two are pretty important and um, yeah I will be going through uh, all of them so uh, let's start off with this this is your toolbox if you open this you can insert like a brick go to uh, vehicles or what I always do is game objects for a spawn point uh, spawn points are uh, places you start uh, in uh, in the game you can also go to your models free models if you need to your de decals you can find there and some other bunch of stuff but I don't use uh, the other bunch of stuff right here because yeah, I don't, I don't li really like them and they're all, all made by others, uh, other people. So yeah. Um, so into the brick, and we can uh, start off by uh, uh, this uh, tool right here. This is your drag tool. Uh, you can select uh, bricks and move them with this tool, which you cannot you cannot uh, change uh, the how big it is so the size you cannot change that um, the next one is move on axis if you don't wanna move it like this dragging you can move it on axis it's like this and you will need this this tool for uh, moving models because sometimes <clears throat> if you try to use them uh, try to move a model it doesn't go uh, one stud uh, doesn't move one stud for now it does but sometimes it doesn't so you will need uh, move an axis <clears throat> so um, this tool is the resize tool if you select a brick with the resize tool you can simply resize the brick as big as you want well there is a limit but it's pretty big the limit so I don't think you will be going through the limit um, yeah so that is the resize tool you can also make it a huge block so yeah okay then we got the um, lock let's lock everything up and see what we do look we cannot select it even if we dr uh, drag a uh, a, uh, what is it called rectangle on it it doesn't get selected so uh, the base plate is by default uh, locked so you cannot play a place so you cannot uh, move it um, just to prevent uh, mistakes so uh, we can this uh, de lock something unlock and we can select it again see okay then so if you ever wanted to remove your base plate, you need to uh, unlock it. And then you can select it, as you see right now. But I don't want it to have it unlocked. So yeah. Okay then. Um, we got the anchor uh, uh, brick here. So to know what anchor is, you need to know. Uh, in Roblox, you have gravity. And if I would start the game right here by pressing this run button, run, 
to break false very simple uh, this reset button restores the game as when you uh, before the moment you clicked on this button so yeah um, so for now it falls because it's not anchored and to anchor a brick you need to go to uh, click on it go to the ex uh, the, the properties drag down with scroll thingy and uh, mark the anchor thing but you can also use this tool right here which I'm doing right now this tool is good for uh, anchoring whole models and now it is anchored so now if I run the game it doesn't fall you might, might be wondering why are do these do, those two not not falling as well because they are also not anchored well that is because they are they have studs and as you might know um, uh, if you see look on Lego the real Lego blocks if you place them like this uh, they also won't fall because they're they fit pr perfectly in e into each other so yeah but what if I make them uh, smooth right here it will fall so that is one thing uh, let's make it start again um, yeah uh, let's go to this to this one um, this is just simply change the color of a brick why did I choose pink orange purple blue very simple okay so if you want to use a color that is used before on a brick you can uh, select this what is it called pick color tool and select um, a brick or what color you want uh, to pick and then you have the color selected so uh, because there are a lot of colors you might not know which blue is used this blue this blue this blue this blue there's so much blues so yeah um, the next one is the material you can change the material of your brick well uh, one thing is with materials uh, not everybody can see materials because they might have put it off on uh, the settings of Roblox or the video card uh, won't uh, um, actually uh, support the materials because materials take some more uh, video performance so be careful with that but um, I like wood slate um, yeah and grass and sometimes the ice but the rest I don't re really like foil corroded metal and concrete they're not really that 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 good so yeah uh, just simply uh, select what you want uh, to uh, I want this to have wood and there you go wood well, wood doesn't mean also make it brown but for that we have our uh, recolor button so now it looks like wood okay then uh, the no next bunch, bunch of tools is change the surface of a brick well this is smooth uh, as I showed before and nothing will stick on it um, except for the glue and weld this is weld and um, I'm really honest and I don't know what uh, what's the, the difference between glue and weld I guess the weld is uh, kind of better better in than glue but I have no idea what the real difference is so yeah um, really honest on that and so glue and weld everything sticks to it so if I place a brick on it which is smooth on the bottom this will actually stick onto each other if it was unanchored watch see <laughs> okay let's try glue just try okay so that didn't stick maybe it's not that glue is not that hard like sticky yeah I guess that is that is yeah 
it will stick but it's not that sticky as weld so yeah but weld will uh, uh, get unsticky if, if it got hit by an exploding uh, or uh, a rocket so yeah uh, you got the uh, stud the uh, indents what's this oh that's just uh, the inlet that's what they call it's different the uh, universal is uh, two uh, on each which will stick to each other if I uh, rotate this with the R or T uh, button on your keyboard you can rotate bricks this will actually stick to each other because um, this will fi fit exactly into this so yeah and you also have hinge which is uh, basically uh, what doors also have you can move them like if I do it right now so the hinge is on this brick in the middle of this brick and I start a game there actually a hinge right here will actually f yeah kind of make it rotate but it doesn't like uh, move yet because we can also add a motor like here and this will make it rotate very simple okay so I think we've gone almost through all of them well this is uh, so something else I uh, I never actually explored so I'm not going to explain uh, so is this um, yeah so you got to the Explorer right here and if you open workspace you can see all the bricks used into uh, in your uh, in your game so and they all have a name and uh, so does workspace and you see your players the lighting started UI starter pack the tools uh, which you start with uh, started UI is the GUI you see in the beginning uh, debris I don't know and sound service for sounds okay so there you got your properties right here if you click on a brick you will see the properties of a brick well you got a, a, a lot of properties but the surface inputs aren't really uh, needed for now okay so you got a material as well for reflectance transparency reflectance is uh, the, the how much reflects uh, how much it reflects light but doesn't work on materials only on plastic so uh, it's like a mirror right now sorry I needed to sneeze uh, change it back to zero and reflectance is try to make a uh, glass if you make it blue or white you have something that looks like glass okay so you can change the name parent you cannot change because the parent is right here the position uh, this is not important you can anchor it archivable is that you um, in the beginning you can or cannot see it like it is there or not can collide is that you can go through with or other big bricks can go through or not and you can lock it as well right here okay so a less uh, elasticity elasticity uh, yeah if you use kind of hinge thing and you want them to move easily um, you change elasticity elasti oh, elasticity and friction friction is just like in real life you have uh, friction uh, look on roller coasters uh, all roller coasters have friction which uh, reduces uh, the speed of a roller coaster because of uh, the gravity and you can change the friction so it's an infinite loop thing uh, you can change the shape you can change it into ball which is right now or cylinder or back to block you have the size form factor is uh, what kind of uh, measures you use because brick is kind of 
uh, weird in Roblox because uh, a height, one high, is not actually one but uh, 1.2, I guess. Well, right now it is because I put it on symmetric, but if I put it on brick, it will be 1.1, the height. The height is always the middle value. The other two uh, on the sides are uh, uh, these two. So, yeah. Uh, s and plate is very custom, but you also have a custom one which is really, really custom. You can, like, really uh, make it thin. So, yeah. And then you got the surfaces, uh, you can change them to smooth or anything else. So, those are all the basics you have. Um, you have some same uh, bricks right here which are placed here. Let me see, you can insert a model by going to insert model. You can insert a object like script, uh, body velocity, meshes, everything else into uh, by insert object, services, um, tools, test, play solo to test out your place. Uh, settings for Roblox settings um, yeah that's all about it you can open save your place publish to Roblox if you are done with your place save something as model uh, save something as model to to your computer print I haven't tried that before so I'm really curious to know uh, how something looks like on paper and your recent opened places so yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I, I hope to see you in a uh, next video uh, on my channel. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.